Okay, hello everyone, my name is Aquan Williams, and today in this video I'm going to be talking about the most current and recent episode of The Flash, which aired on the CW TV network on June 8th, 2022, just yesterday. The title episode is Season 8, Episode 18, 17. The title is called Keep It Dark. Next week's episode will be Season 8, Episode 18, titled The Man in the Yellow Tie. The video trailer is up on YouTube with the CW TV network's official YouTube channel. It's on there. It's also on the TV promos YouTube channel and also other places on YouTube, various places and or channels that you can see and watch it on. Essentially, this was another filler episode, again, of The Flash. Basically, what happens with filler episodes is mostly it's a bunch of junk compacted together with the main story being put on the back burner and or plot. Um, Barry Allen's kids, excess and impulse were in this episode. The Iris West wasn't here. Dion, the Speed Force wasn't here. The Steel Force. None of them were here. Killer Frost wasn't there. Uh, Sue Dearborn. Um, also, Caitlin Snow was only there on uh, virtually with a video at the end of the episode telling her entire team she won't be back until she will be back soon. But she's going on a vacation slash sabbatical slash um, personal leave to try to figure out how to bring Killer Frost back herself because Barry Allen destroyed her lab last week where she was trying to bring Killer Frost back in some type of mad scientist like type of way. I guess um, obviously. What's his name? Chill Bane is going to help her out still. Um, essentially what this happened is Barry Allen, which we see all the time, when Bar another filler episode on the Flash show. When Barry Allen is out of town, he is uh, leaving the team to take care of the city, Central City. And all hell goes, everything goes to hell. All hell breaks loose and everything obviously gets screwed up. Allegra's fault is um, obviously what we're looking at again here in this episode. Where she decided to bring in this girl named Lydia, who is a, a, a confidential force, a source and or informant that used to, and knows um, knowledge about the Lorenius gang, which is obviously the gang she used to be with her cousin, Ultraviolet, a.k.a. Esperanza, who is dead, who worked for Black Hole. And um, coincidentally, Black Hole is associated with the Lorenius because it's the exact same people. Um, Dr. Light and obviously Sunshine were in this episode. Other people from the past are gone. So it's just them and a bunch of other people who we don't know, obviously. We just call them gang uh, member person number one, number two, and, and the credit scenes. This is what you'll see, obviously. They found out that this girl, Lydia, who um, has knowledge of their gang, is going to tell um, Allegra about this and tell the whole world. Because the reason why is because Allegra decided to tell, tell her in broad daylight in public, take her confidential source in the coffee place, Jitters, in broad daylight, and talk to her about this, which she obviously should not have done for her safety and security, and for uh, obviously uh, journalistic integrity and uh, security purposes. She should have had her meet um, her somewhere. She uh, should have told Lydia, Allegra should have told Lydia, meet me somewhere else where you can be, we can be safe and hidden from people in um, some place, obviously not where she works at or at Jitters, even at Star Labs, that would have been dangerous. It would have to be someplace secluded in, someplace um, they would not be able to find her so easily because they were obviously following her, um, the Lorenius gang. So the whole entire team obviously is, like I said, split up a little bit right now. The only person who was helping Allegra was Chuck, the Flash, who has Barry Allen with Tilly Annie to talk to Eobarthon, the other version of uh, the Reverse Flash. Uh, the first one, the second version will be on next week's episode, which is season eight titled, um, episode 18 titled the man in the yellow tie so he'll be back but he's not the reverse flash he's um the, he's got the face but barry allen told him i know it's you he's told him that and he's, i guess he's trying to convince him i guess in some type of way he's not here so crazy out in two episodes both reverse flashes um uh, two um uh, back-to-back -back episodes from this week and, and next week both uh, versions of Reverse Flash will be in them. It's pretty crazy. Iris obviously was not uh, was talked about in this episode, but not obviously shown physically. Barry didn't mention her. We obviously don't know what's going on with her still. Um, and still for us, her being, uh, I guess because they lost there, disappeared into the Shadow Zone and our Phantom Realm. No mention of Dion and how to find him. Joe West and Cecile popped up to randomly talk about taking their daughter to a daycare. Had nothing to do with the episode again. Like I said, irrelevant. Um, but like I said, another filler episode. Filler episode where we have this in lots of shows where basically it's just taking up time to move on to this the, the rest of the plot at the end of the episode, which we saw obviously with Kaylin Frost bringing up the Killer Snow situation. Excuse me, Killer for Kaylin Snow bringing up Killer Frost and her going on a sabbatical. The new uh, speedster spa fast track, who is a scientist, obviously is going to be helping Barry Allen. She's very smart. And she's going to help Barry uh, and the rest of the team take on Death Storm whenever he comes back onto the show. So Allegra took on um, Dr. Light and um, Ultra, not Ultraviolet, her cousin Esperanza's dead. She took on um, Sunshine 
and Dr. Light by herself. She got shot in the side, a gut shot by Dr. Light's ultraviolet gun. She was able to heal herself, but she couldn't take them both down because apparently she couldn't do it by herself, apparently, um, because she was hurt still. Um, Chester, aka Chuck, couldn't do anything to help her, but keep everybody safe and secluded, and who were obviously work with her, her fellow um, journalist, to keep um, Lydia safe in the room where they were recording um, the live broadcast stream aka live stream to report to everybody around the world and also in central city about the um gang the lorenias and the black hole and, si and the whole situation she told everybody their identities who they really are their secret identities and but the funny thing is is that chester said earlier in the episode we're gonna i'm gonna make your voice alter so nobody will know it's you i'm gonna keep your face hidden so you'll be kept a secret and you'll be safe but at the end of the episode she decided to show her whole entire face lydia and tell everybody this whole entire situation about the gang and, and basically telling on them and um which is what obviously people would, would call snitching but um uh usually when people do that they don't do, they do that behind closed doors obviously and for good purposes and reasons to keep herself safe i don't know if she had a kid or not but she's trying to move out get out of town uh, she probably would have been better off if she actually did not do that because they obviously already knew she was there. And it, obviously, this is the thing. Anybody associated with them couldn't go after her after this. She's going to have to go into hiding. At the end of the episode, she said, I'm not going to take that bus ride out of town. I'm going to stay here and not be afraid. Um, she told um, Lydia told Allegra to not be afraid either. So Lydia, uh, because of that, Allegra told previously her whole, everybody at the Central City uh, Citizen Media and her Gazette uh taylor and the, and the guy and the other the woman uh that she obviously is a metahuman she showed them her power she can obviously um her powers of the light that she can produce from her hands she had to do this after taylor told everybody that she used to be a part of the gang lydia um told her she um that you can't keep secrets from people because it's gonna um obviously put you in a bad spot like me and they kept kind of having that understanding and back and forth. But anyways, um, it was very annoying because uh, Allegra kept telling everybody, you can trust me, guys. You just can't, you can tr you can trust me, please. And they kept saying, we don't because we don't trust you at all because you keep lying to us. So why should we? Um, Sunshine or somebody from Black Hole, a.k.a. the Lorenia, has called up uh, the Central City Citizen Media Gazette, whatever it's called. Obviously, I'm getting the name wrong, but it's am an amalgamation of that and told them that Allegra used to be a part of their gang and she obviously got a tip off about that from somebody and Taylor said I found, saw your um, your juvenile detention records or juvie records from back in the day you didn't tell us about this and you know send their business obviously but Allegra brought it on herself because she just kept saying I, you guys you can trust me and they're like how do you know all this stuff about the gang and all that and everybody's like the source I have is telling me but it's saying you can just trust her and, and because you trust me you can trust her and they're like we don't know about that so obviously put everybody in the bad spot and they, Taylor was the one who obviously said, yeah, you know what, let's just give her up to the bad guys and have them kill her and let's just get out of here. So she just kept saying that it was very annoying. This whole episode was very annoying and boring. Uh, like I said, again, another filler episode on The Flash that really has nothing to do with the storyline, main storyline and her plot, which was again, like I said, put on the back burner only to be brought up again towards the end of the episode when Barry Allen met, met, meets the new speedster who is fast track at the end of the episode. That's basically it. Um, the, yeah, like I said, um, it's basically it. Dr. I forgot her name is in here. Um, but, um, yeah, d um, that's basically it. Um, we'll see what happens in the rest of the show. Um, if Iris West will be back, somebody, um, and obviously one will kill her frost, be back, obviously with Caitlin Snow. We really don't know, obviously about that. Uh, that's a, a big mystery. We'll see what happens with that. But, um, like I said, just another filler episode of the flash. Nothing too spectacular and or interesting. That's basically it from my review for this, The Flash, his uh, current episode. Tom Cavanaugh was great. Um, it was cool seeing him again, always. Um, hopefully, Carlos Valdez will be back for us. Okay, uh, what's his name? Cisco Ramon, probably possibly before the season's over, or hopefully next year when the season's actually, the show will be over, and The Flash will have its final ninth season. And that'll be it for that. Um, this is article is on gamerat.com that's where i'm currently looking at the review for the flash i just watched it a couple minutes ago and that's basically it. and that's the end of my review for the flash like i said another boring filler episode um we'll see what happens with the whole speedsters joining forces with barry allen's kids and pulse and excess who are barry allen's kid and iris west allen's kids um, bart allen and nora allen trying to jump from 2042 to 2022 to help their father who is barry allen aka the flash along with fast track the new speedster if she can help them all for 
team up against the Death Storm by 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 and obviously by themselves to take him on. Obviously, hopefully save the whole entire planet and our city because obviously they're only the ones that can help them. Allegra can help too, but that's basically it. Everybody else will be gone. Chill Band, Killer Frost, and I guess the Steel Force and everybody else, even Speed Force, will be joining in to help them. That's basically it, and then we'll see what happens with that, obviously, and that's the end of my review for The Flash. Um, this current episode, which is Season 8, Episode 17, titled, titled Keep It Dark, and next week's episode will be Season 8, titled, uh, Episode 18, titled The Man in the Yellow, the, the Man in the Yellow Tile, which we'll see the other version of the Reverse Flash, a.k.a. Eobard Thawne, um, back on the show. This week was Tom Cavanaugh, next week is the other guy that plays him, obviously, which we'll see. Barry Allen confront him and say, I know it's you and the guy is saying, I don't know what you're talking about. I might look like this killer, but I'm not actually who I, you think I am. How that happens and how he gets back in some type of way, we don't know because on The Legends of Tomorrow, remember, uh, Sarah Lance watched him die and she was supposed to take his place as the timekeeper in that um, whole entire situation where they were stuck in another time uh, zone in or a loop in the 1930s and her 40s with the trying to stop the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, obviously over in Germany. Um, by the Black Hand, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see what happens on the show when it uh, comes back on next week for the, the Flash, which will be season eight. Again, uh, episode 18, titled The Man of the Yellow Tie. Again, that's the end of my review. And thanks again for watching it. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Goodbye.